This is Chat Fangirl signing in and today is actually a book review. Now on average I write a book oh I write a book? Yep, totally. I am actually writing a book, but that's beside the point. I read a book once a week. On average. Sometimes I read more than one depending on how big the book is. Now this week I've been reading a book called Beautiful Creatures and I watched the film before I read the book. The film came out a little while ago and it was one of the stories that got stuck with me and I was always thinking about it because there is this girl who has to who doesn't have a choice in where she goes. On her 16th birthday she either becomes light or dark depending on her. Now she's got stuck in this curse where no matter what she does it seems like she can only go dark. Now she is a caster or most people say like a witch. So it's very it is quite a typical teenage like love story, like forbidden romance between a caster and a mortal, stuff like that. And it was it's not really my thing, but the way this book is done is actually quite cool. Um, basic. Oh, I probably should mention this. This is the authors. I can't pronounce their name, so I'm going to try. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I'm really hoping I got the right, but apparently there are more in the series, but I can't find them anywhere. So if you know any places that are likely to sell them, let me know in the comments. Also, while you're letting me know where to buy the rest of the series, let me know what your favourite book series is, or what your favourite book is, and I'll look them up. It's great. I love books. I love, learn I love learning books, and books can tell so much about a person. Going off topic... This book, it's set in a stereotypical small southern town where everyone's very, if you're different, they don't like you. Which, although it's not as severe here, it's something that I can relate to. Especially as I'm now going into college, quite often I'll find people new people especially seem to be a bit isolated from our college people tend to ignore them so i try to talk to as many of them as i can even though i don't really talk to many people but i know what it is like to be alone and i really wouldn't want that on anyone and that is the problem that lena faces lena lena i've always pronounced it in my head as lena so if that's wrong it's been a long time since i've seen the film so i can't remember how it's pronounced but she's spent most of her life growing up, going from relative to relative, before finally settling down with her uncle a few hundred days before her birthday. Now, this birthday is a very special birthday because it's one where she is claimed and she will either go light or dark. And her and her family seem almost 100% certain that she is going to go dark due to a curse that Guinevere put on them in... Mm, 1864 I think I can't remember the actual date it was during some war and because of this curse it seems like she can only become a dark caster and have to obey the laws of the darkness and that's when she meets Ethan and Ethan is the sort of boy that's trying to get as far away from this small town as possible which is understandable and those two meet and as their friendship forms he becomes isolated as well until they're isolated together with their friend Link and a lot of stuff happens, family crises, um, many people are trying to get Lena out of the town because her father is sort of a Boo Radley figure like nobody really talks about him it's very dark it's a bad omen almost and it is quite a big book it's let me just find a page it's 563 pages long and I've read that in a week I love that smell does anyone else love the smell of books? Like, maybe that's just some weird geeky thing that I have. 
But it's a really good book. I feel like the author's done their love story well, especially when it comes to describing their isolation from both each other because, well, one's a mortal and one's a witch. So they're not really meant to mix, as to say. But I think when it comes to the isolation bit, it's done really well. I don't know, maybe I relate to the story a lot because I myself have moved in many, many different places because of my family. Um, I can relate to Lena, Lena, Lena. Please tell me how I'm meant to pronounce this because it sounds different in my head. I always thought that Colonel... Colonel and how it was spelt were two different words and it really threw me when we were reading out loud in class and someone said it. It, it just really... It, it was one of those things where I stopped and went, is that how it's pronounced? Like, it's always been said differently in my head. Anyway, still going off topic. I do that a lot. I'm sorry. I am sorry that I ramble a lot. Um... Beautiful creatures, you've got the stereotypical cheerleading girls where they're almost identical, then you've got the jocks and the basketball and so forth and so forth. Now, this, although it is a love story, it's also about overcoming, overcoming expectations and taking a chance on something new which I think is something that everyone needs a little bit of everyone needs a little bit of well I'm gonna prove them wrong I'm gonna be able to do this I'm gonna get these grades I'm gonna go that extra mile I'm gonna do this 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 and this setting goals for yourself and then breaking them is like the best feeling ever so that was my because I'm, try I'm trying to not give away, like, the ending of the story. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But I do love beautiful creatures. I remember sitting there in the cinema with my friends. And we were just sat there watching. And I just loved it. I related so much to Lena. Like, she used to always draw on her hands. And although my hands bare today because I had quite a lot of... I had quite a lot of work to do today. Anyone who knows me will know that I've usually got pen all the way up my arms and usually on the person sitting next to me, they have usually end up having like little doodles on their arm if it's been a long, like a double period or something. But I don't know. Have a read of it yourself guys and let me know in the comments below. Um, I think... I don't know. I don't know what book I'm reading. It's probably going to be a Stephen King. I might read Cell again. Um, I liked Cell, so I will be reading Cell this week, I guess. Set myself a little book. Um, yeah, I'll be reading Cell this week, and I will let you guys know how that goes and my thoughts and feelings on that. So, if you, if you feel that someone else would like this book review or you think this sort of book is someone's cup of tea I guess you could say um kindly share the video like it's a really good book it's a good film as well but I definitely prefer the book the book all books seem to have more depth than the film and that's one of the best things about them but yeah if you liked this video please give me a likes up and let me know in the comments. I do like hearing from you guys. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I guess this is Chat Fangirl signing out.